Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, we're talking about the craziest fishing inventions that actually work. As long as people continue to fish, there's gonna be somebody out there that's inventing things for fish. Hey, what was the most remarkable invention ever made? The dry erase board. Get it? Remarkable. Anyway, let's get on with these fishing inventions. Crazy fishing invention number one. The first fishing invention on this list is called the pack rifle. That's right, pack rifle. And what it is is a CNC'd 22 long rifle rifle. And it's actually pretty cool. It's basically, in a nutshell, a 22 long rifle that's made to break down and you can put it in a backpack and take it with you wherever you're going. And the thing only weighs like 15 ounces, which is freaking awesome. Okay, just to get an idea of how light 15 ounces is, I'm gonna weigh my cell phone and see how much it weighs. My cell phone weighs almost 10 ounces. I mean, a phone weighs almost as much as this rifle. That's crazy. It has fiber optic sights on it. It also can accept the scope. It has a laser you can get for it. And like I said before, it breaks down really easy, which makes cleaning it easy too. And I know you're probably telling yourself, what's this got to do with fishing, right? Well, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, this rifle turns into a fishing rod. Honey, I know what I want for Christmas. It better not be another gun or fishing rod. So basically, let's break this down. It's very light, fits in a backpack, and it's basically made for camping or any survival type situation. But remember, this is a firearm, so you're gonna have to do a background check. And it's not the cheapest thing in the world. I think it costs like $400, $450. But it fit perfectly on this list because you gotta admit, that's crazy. You know what invention was more important than the first telephone? The second telephone. Crazy fishing invention number two. The next crazy fishing invention on our list is the fishing chum. Yeah, you heard me, fishing chum. What this thing is, is a rod holder. And we love rod holders. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, we know what you're saying, because you say it all the time. But this rod holder straps to your leg. A unique, fully adjustable, leg-mounted rod holder. Leg-mounted? But hey, let's look at the positives about the fishing chum. I mean, if you're using the fishing chum, then anywhere you see it, you're going to have a rod holder. If you're using the fishing chum, and you're just walking up and down the bank fishing, you're always going to have a rod holder. Technically, you could fish with your leg. Jigging is one of the best things about this fishing rod holder. See, you gotta use your hands for something. One on each leg, move your heels up and down, you're jigging. On second thought, that's probably not the best idea. Probably, probably not. I did, however, see a few things that I thought was pretty cool that you could do with it. Like, for instance, you could strap it to the arm of your chair and use it that way armchair rod holder or you could strap this thing to a bucket and you got yourself a bucket rod holder or if you was fishing at tombstone this would probably be awesome i'm just saying you know you're stupid right i know it since i'm 50 50 on this you guys decide and leave it in the comment section is this a viable piece of fishing gear i mean would you use it? You know, it is on the crazy list. Yep, just like you. Crazy fishing invention number three. Picture this, you're in a fishing tournament. You fished hard all day with no luck. You've been to every one of your favorite fishing spots that work to no avail. You've threw everything in your tackle box at them, but have you thrown the kitchen sink? Do what? Who is thinking this stuff up? And this lure ain't even new. That's all I'm saying. I'm pretty old. I've been around a long time. I've made lures. I've made lures out of earrings. I've reused soft plastics. I've made lures out of quarters. I even made a lure one time out of a spoon. I'm just saying. Heck, a couple weeks ago, I even made a lure out of duct tape. 
It looks like a real crankbait. But wait, there's more. Oh my gosh. You can get the kitchen sink in cast iron. You can get the kitchen sink in stainless steel. And for a limited time, today only, you can get the kitchen sink in a modern version. Do you suffer from fishing lure deficiency? Do you need to buy every single thing that everybody of yours tells you to? Throwing bait after bait. If I just had one more, if I just threw the kitchen sink at them, maybe I could go home feeling good about myself. The kitchen sink, ladies and gentlemen. I'm literally losing brain cells listening to you talk about this. Yeah, I'm losing them too just talking about it. But there have been a lot of reports that people actually catch fish on this thing. This thing is definitely deserving to be on the craziest fishing inventions list, I'm just saying. I don't know. Speaking of inventions, you know what the most groundbreaking invention ever was? The shovel. But it was the broom that swept the nation. Crazy fishing invention number four. So someone invented this thing and it's called the fish call. Know what I'm saying? The fish call. Looks like a big old bobber to me. But supposedly this thing calls fish in while you're fishing. And there's plenty of videos that says it does. And I had something huge on that I had to cut off when I saw that container ship coming. Because I believe everything that every YouTuber says. There's other things like this out on the market. Livingston Lure actually made lures that called fish for a long time now. And I believe they work because I made my own lure and it calls fish too. Here, piggy, 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 piggy. <laughs> See, it works. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube of people using them and they say they work. There's this one kid on YouTube, he ran a test and he fished without the fish call. I'm going to go for maybe 10 or 15 minutes cast without using the fish call. He didn't even catch nothing. Then he threw the fish call in and he fished again. And then go 10 or 15 minutes with the fish call to see if it will make a difference in the water. Fish on. Yeah, fish on. I believe that's my first smallmouth. So, obviously, this thing works. I mean, I gotta admit, that was a nice smallmouth. I mean, seriously, I would have to experiment with this fish call and try it out and see if it worked and everything. But I believe it could work because, like I said, I got a lure that calls fish. <laughs> Well, at the very least, I can't say these fishing inventions were interesting. Anyway, if you're a fan of fishing inventions or making fishing stuff, fishing stuff, and you enjoyed this video, then you're probably going to enjoy this video too. So I'd go check it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm serious. Go check it out because this video is over.